KP! KP in the house! You already know how to bounce! It's Disney Detonation coming at you from the Transport of Content Fury Studios in Jersey, and I am your host, and it is Wednesday, March 13th, approximately 6 p.m., and it is another Kalo Palo Pilo vlog. I mean, I have other content I wanted to get to. I have my 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 quasi vacation where I visited my family. I have there's all kinds of crazy stuff going on with Disney. Uh, I don't know if you guys know Nelson Peltz is trying to get on the board of directors, um, which I think is occurring in June. Uh, the the head of, of of Disney Imagineering stepped down. The guy who put together um, that. Uh, the cartoon or the series on Disney Plus, the um, X Men '97. I think he got fired pr- and I, prior to the release of the um, series. So there's a lot going on at Disney that I want to cover, but I just I just don't have the time to do Mr. KP and then do all these other ideas that I have. So I guess the solution would be to kind of not watch Mr. KP's videos for a bit because, my God, you watch this guy's videos and it's like it's every week just more like utter stupidity and i mean this guy is the michael scott of disney vloggers like it's just amazing and then when you read the com- you know the comments in his comment section like all these people that come to his defense and if you uh these paladites if you ha- have anything negative to say that you're this troll and you're a piece of garbage and blah 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 i mean like if you're paying attention to any of this stuff it's just like I mean, it's it what he's saying these things. It's not like everyone's embellishing on it or making it up. I mean, it's just it's it's observational humor. I mean, at this point, so let's and this and he put on a two hour vlog where he treated the parks as his personal um, playground where he's um, dedicating lampposts to himself while while prior he visits visits his um, hundred k bench and then he's. I mean, it's spectacular. And he's ordering these people around that are with him like like he's some kind of uh, like general on a mission. Okay, so let's unveil Mr. KP's um, monumental achievement, his, uh, his 200K lamppost in front of Baseline at Hollywood Studios. <laughs> All right, and I got my baseline shirt on today, um, you know. So we're all in on Mr. KP's 200K uh, uh, subscriber lamp post. I mean, could you imagine? All right, so the first clip is get off my 100K bench. Now, this was pretty hilarious to me. He's he's going to visit his, his bench that he memorialized for his 100... 100- uh, K subscribership he's got his uh his uh minions with him and he's directing them around he's like you know um claim the bench claim the throne i mean if if this isn't a work i mean i i just the, if this guy's serious about any of this stuff it's just i mean he really is the michael scott i was going to say it over and over again of disney vlogger so this next clip is get off my 100k bench so there's the 100k bench it's flooded with literally five people <laughs> I mean, he seems like irreverent that this family is on his bench, and then he proceeds to set up his mobile studio next to them. Hey, there's literally like ten people around here. Hold on, I think they're gonna leave here soon. Yeah, that'll work. I think they're gonna leave here. I got a feeling. I got a feeling. He's got a feeling because what are you gonna stare at them close, and make guys. them uncomfortable? Okay. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. We're kind of at like the edge of Hollywood Studios right now. All right, let's sit here for a little bit. Anything with the breeze? Dude, I have never See, been in the sun uh, uh, for a long period of time uh, before filming. Uh, 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 and that uh, was the most we have uh, ever got. Uh, 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 100K bench. All right, guys. Claim it. Claim the throne. Claim October the throne. 21st, 2021 is when we hit 100K on this bench. Oh Comment down below. You dick. I mean, the guy's trying to have a conversation with him. He's like, claim it, claim it, claim it. All right, so... Okay, so the next clip is called uh, General Idiot, the Everyday Hero. And here's where he's standing in, like, I guess they're having discussions on whether or not, it, you know, where to go to, comm- what object to commemorate or what section of the park to go to. And then Kylo Palo is like, okay, um, 
we're going to hit it here. We're going to hit it here. And then, like, goes on to think that somehow, I mean, like, it, this is, which is even more crazier. With all the crap that's going on in the world, he, he's like, like, almost as though everything that happens in front of this uh, lamppost is providence. He gets his, his cider, uh, Casey shows up and they, and he hits the hundred K mark at the exact perfect time. So here we go. It's called uh, general idiot, the everyday hero. All right, we're going to hit it here. All right, we're going to hit it here at the lamppost. I'm now the leader of thousands of people. They all hang on my every word. And I'm going to use my power to finally get what this town really needs. All my sons. Thank you. Thanks for uh, finding a solution to almost a nightmare, nightmare day. Someone else made the comment of in between, uh, if you're looking for a secluded area, in between. Uh, oh my God. Secluded area. Galaxy's Edge and Toy Story was a good area. Too. That would be a nice area. I think it's, it's nice. Secluded. It would have been nice with the higher days cider in my hand. Hey, can I give you my card? Hey, can I give you my card? You will respect my authority! I can't believe it. Yay! It's like they, the universe knew. It's like they... The universe knew because you were coming, so close. getting the drinks to celebrate. Yeah. Crazy. It was so cute when you spotted me. I, just I know. I just looked up at the right moment. It's just like you were so cute when you when I when uh, you spotted me. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Crazy. It was so cute when you spotted me. It just I know. I just looked up at the right moment. <laughs> wow. I gotta sit this down. This is getting really kind of heavy. Not, I'll definitely remember this day forever. I mean, it's been two and a half years to see another hundred thousand. Stuff doesn't happen overnight. It doesn't. Oh, let's go. Great man. Wait a moment. Two and a half years later. Two and a half years later, everybody. That's right, Mr. KP. We will never know how brave you are for just being yourself. I mean, we're all in... It's Mr. KP's world, and we're all just living in it. Okay, so the next uh, clip is... Okay, this is the can uh, the can opener uh, incident, which is hilarious. So one of the greatest things about following this guy and watching his vlogs is looking at the comments. Now, this guy here... So somebody points out that he's using the can opener inappropriately. And immediately these people come to his his defense saying that he is using it uh, pr properly. That is the proper can opener for the way. He's just basically cutting the tops off of the, um, uh, the, the creamed corn that he has. And this guy, Eric from Florida, has been on, in my channel. I, I, I booted him out doing nothing but trolling. So a lot of people like that comment are constantly saying he's got sock accounts. I mean... I don't know for sure, but it certainly appears as though this is an, either a sock account or somebody that's fr that's friends with him that just peruses other sites and and sticks up for him and you know is is a paladite that you know tries to um, you know to start trouble on other sites and come here and come to his defense consistent constantly. So here is the um, <laughs> here is the uh, the can opener that Mr. KP is using. As you can see, this is the way that you're supposed to use it, which he doesn't do and when we get into this video i'm going to show you um I, I have a video of how to use the can opener that's next to him while he's he's uh in, improperly using it i just i just thought this was funny this is a 30 year old guy how, how do you how have you never in life used a can opener or or like when it i mean even if it, this has got to be a work right like there's no, i don't know any even my 13 year old daughter knows how to use a can opener okay so this is the can, uh, this next clip, again, the can opener incident. My parents told me the other day, and obviously corn. So we'll see how long it takes me to open it with these things. Not my area of expertise. Okay, listen, if you know how to use like a can opener, Not his area right of away, expertise. you are a legend. Does anyone know an expert can opener? On this earth. Person? These are so hard to use, like, like this. Did I do it? Oh! <gasps> I think I got it. Wait, am I a legend? Gee, George, you're real smart, aren't you, George? I think I'm a legend, guys. I think that's the fastest I've ever opened a can of anything in my life. Why must you turn my office into a house of lies? Let's hope it's done. It is! 
And the top is cut up. I mean, this can't be real, right? This can't be. Legend Kyle adds your service. <laughs> I'm serious. I don't know how I did that, but we did it somehow. Oh my gosh. I think I know how to use this now. No, you don't. I am an official adult. After 30 years on this world, we uh, know how to open a can on like the first go. It's gonna do it. It's gonna do it. Can we do it? Dude, I am good. I mean, this guy just bought a three quarter of a million dollar home and he doesn't know how to use a can opener. I mean, wow. I mean, I can't. Unbelievable. So, all right. So the next clip is called Wonder Douche. Life, but since I'm a chef today, I need to change. I only have one outfit that really looks like a chef, so let me go. Should I do like a spin thing? It's the only shirt that I have that's white that looks like a chef shirt, okay? I know, I know it's not a chef shirt, okay? But it oh my God. does the trick, right? Disney tricked us. Oh my God. All right, so the next, cl the next clip is called Investment Expenses. Now, in the, the late last video I, or vlog I watched of this guy, he's talking about how he's going to start um, a vlog on discussing his uh, expenses. Now, if it's anything like the... Um, the investment vlog, which was uh, ridiculous, you'll get you'll get quotes like, "We're going to invest the money on top of the investments I'm already doing." I mean, it's just like it's. I, I can't wait to watch this expense video, but I'm. I think I'm going to hold off on watching his vlogs for a bit so I can get on to some other things because, like I said, it's like addicting. Like you see these things, and you, it's like I I feel compelled to talk about it. Cause it's hilarious. All right, so this is called investment expenses. We might go to Disney though tomorrow. That's still up in the air, but probably not. I think I have a kind of unique idea for a video tomorrow that I've actually never done. And I think it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. Kind of gives you guys look at my expenses. Yeah, sure. This one's a little inflated, but we'll see. We'll see. No I was gonna actually, I thought about double paying the mortgage, but I feel like we're gonna invest the money on top of already investments that I've been doing. I mean, there might be some months where I don't hit that investment because we're taking the investment elsewhere, such as like a, a trip, but I love talking such as a trip. I love talking about my plans. It's just um, something I have a passion for and, and love talking about, honestly. I'm taking investments elsewhere, such as a trip. I guess if you're a YouTube uh, creator, you know, that's a write-off or I mean, it's like an investment. I mean, give me all right so the next clip is called a dope a piece now i thought this was this was like befuddling to me at first so he is in magic kingdom and he's discussing whether or not to buy a um to buy genie plus so because the parks are empty and he's just like um you, you know uh he's he uses this 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 term uh, horse a piece which I have never heard so I'm like what the hell I even had to um, use the closed caption to figure out what he was saying so I sometimes YouTube gets it wrong with the closed captions because it sounds because the way YouTube is is showing us it says he's it's he's saying a horse of peace not a piece which if he's saying it wrong it, you know isn't surprising but so I looked it up and this is a, a Wisconsin saying according to the internet um, that it's it's kind of like it doesn't matter which one you choose almost like you know a bird uh, you know um it doesn't like i said it doesn't matter which uh, which one you choose now all right let me just play this and i'll talk about it afterwards so it doesn't matter which one you choose it's a horse of peace again it's kind of more of a normal day here than a holiday which is perfect for genie plus honestly or if you don't even want to buy it it's kind of a horse of peace if you don't even want to buy it it's kind of a horse of peace. I feel like today isn't the busiest, but let's go see him and let's talk about it. I mean, this is great. So he's using a, a, you know, a term from, from his home state and he's using it in incorrectly. If, you, if it doesn't matter which you do, you, you buy the Genie Plus or you don't, then you don't spend on the money on the Genie Plus. I mean, it's like, why spend the money if it doesn't matter? It's just... 
it's it's mind boggling. It's absolutely mind boggling. Okay, so the ne- the next clip is called uh, Special K, but not the cereal. And standing at five foot five inches tall, Casey comes down the stairs. Yay! It's time to make the donuts. Hello, you also gave me like an inch or half inch. <laughs> Woo, Casey! Woo, let's get this day started. Oh, my God. Yay! It's time to make the donuts. Yeah. These are my favorite days. What kind of day is it? It's a shopping day. Oh my yeah, God. it's a Casey Woo. day. Yay! It's time to make the donuts. <laughs> All right. All right, so the next clip is, is called I Am Not a Gamer Anymore Since Yesterday. While Casey gets ready to uh, go on about, I'm going to play some MLB The Show. The new one comes out very, very soon. 2024 edition. I don't really game too much anymore. What a chip. Hey, real quick. Yes. Casey took a picture of me. Uh, she said she sent a picture and she said first gaming session. She didn't tell me she took a picture. Oh. But I gamed already. Oh, picture. one of the first thing I set up, I set up my gaming system. Woohoo! It's all ready to go. Oh, boy. I do get lazy sometimes for sure. Uh, I go on some Netflix binges, or I just play Call of Duty a lot. Today, I honestly just woke up. I slept in, I, I stayed up late, just playing some video games, playing Call of Duty, and... I don't really game too much anymore. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know why he sets himself up for this stuff. So, I mean, it's like, when he says, I don't really game too much anymore, is that that day? I mean, it's hilarious. So, the next clip is called Kyleisms, and this is like... I mean, he, he he's, you know, he's constantly, you know mispronouncing words and and using sayings that are that are that he made up and 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 kind of passes it all off as kyleisms now this is this is hilarious so let's just play it kyleisms i always wonder what the 70s the 80s and the 90s malls were like because for someone like me who films my life every day i always have to switch to a phone because if you walk in with the camera that i have security is going to be on you now, when you when I first heard this, let's hear it again, because it sounds like he's talking about in the seventies, eight, eighties, uh, and nineties, they had uh, recording phones. I had to listen to this like two or three times. I always wonder what the seventies, the eighties, and the nineties malls were like, because for someone like me who films my life every day, I always have to switch to a phone because if you walk in with the camera that I have, security is going to be on you because of all the prank YouTubers. <laughs> I used to. That probably there was no YouTube. In the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Just mess with people in malls. We can't do that anymore. They ruined it for us. Um, I'm really curious how that had anything to do with the malls in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. But you know what? You do you. <laughs> you do you. Yeah, I don't know, honestly. I just really, really yeah, I don't know. Just, like, say I just talk. And then just say something else. It's totally not even correlated to one another. But you know what? It's Kyle's but brain. I love you. It's Kyle's brain. It's a Kyleism. Kyleism. Charge you a leg and a fork. I've got news, or I've heard wind of just my two-piece. It's kind of minuscule in a way. Not too snabby. Not too snabby. The harder you work, the more talented you get at what you're doing. Wow, that was a that was a word kaboggle. Reverse rope dropping. <laughs> it's amazing. So a Kyleism is just saying a bunch of stupid crap and, and passing it off as a Kyleism. I mean, this Casey girl is amazing. Like, you know... She's proud of him for um, cleaning the house. Proud of him for uh, cutting off the, t- the the tops of cans. Uh, you know, it's just proud of him for uh, cooking a a meal of cream corn, pre prepared uh, mashed potatoes, um, ground beef. It's just like amazing. What you know? It's just unbelievable. All right. So the next clip is I have no complaints unless I do. I come to Disney every day. I pretty much live here every day. And I have no complaints. No complaints. I don't know. Like, it, ooh, I'm stressed. Like, I'm, 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 I'm stressed. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> this has been a mess. Ah! Oh! Man, man, <laughs> man. This sucks. This is bonus footage, by the way. Unbelievable. How do I can take this guy seriously? Okay, so this next clip is what I did at Celebration. I went there. Now, the camera work is terrible. The, the Like I said before, the, um, the the rain on the mic was bad, so I actually just uh, redubbed the um, footage. 
but the um the camera itself walking around with it is just so jumpy it's not like the um the gopro hero 10 that i have i should have used that as i stated in my prior vlog so this is called celebration vlog it hasn't sunk in that you know i'm a first time homeowner now like i, I think wow this is my this is my home my hard work has finally paid off. Do you feel pressured at all into going into a specific career or following a certain life path? Well, yeah, of course. There's obviously things that are like more valued than other things. And there's always that, you know, that typical expectation, like what is considered useful, what is considered useless, and then how that reflects on you as a person. I'm eating this Butterfinger that I took. I haven't had a Butterfinger in forever. I love Butterfingers. Mmm, so good. Well, I really hope as we walk around. If we can find a gator. I wanna see a gator so bad. Um, this is nice. I kinda wanna sit here and talk for one second. I obviously got a loan, um, and that's what Matt was there for, and they were kinda sitting there and educating me, but um, didn't buy cash. Definitely can't afford a house in cash. Um, my credit score was Phenomenal. The good thing is we actually bought a house. Definitely is my passion, but yeah, <laughs> here we are. Here we are I'm taking a nice stroll or a nice little bench. Hey, is this like the the house bench? Because we. So I basically took uh, redubbed uh, the the voice over onto this that clip, which is him taking that same route. All right, so that's it for this week um i will be trying to get out those other vlogs that i told you about I, I but we'll see how it goes i mean i'm watching his vlogs it's just hilarious so the next the, uh, next clip is the weekly mix and i will see you all next week Here we go, come on. you are now entering the power verse but they're always trying to find ways for us to save money to make those double payments you know or double investments or double investments to beat the interest rate. I'm smart and I want respect! It's a stiff thing for my butt. It's a stiff thing for my butt. It's stiff? Yeah, it's stiff. In the neighborhood. If you're new around here, uh, Casey's my girlfriend. Does McDonald's ask for tips? Do you know if McDonald's asks for tips? I don't know. First, I want to visit the 100K bench. Maybe we have a new bench. Should we get a new bench, guys? For 200K? Are you f***ing serious? Now that I think about it, I kind of like the idea of having another bench. Then each one has like its own like personal memory to it. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the 200K stream, hopefully. We're going to be live. It's an onion crazy, right? That we had here already. Justin Bieber did turn 30 today. He is a uh, March birthday. Living is nerve-wracking. Do you guys remember way back in the day when I didn't even have a can opener and a million you guys, a million you guys sent me can openers? I won't forget that. Fuck yeah! Any schmuck can cook. Any schmuck can cook. Italian. Legend Kyle at your service. Casey's gonna watch us and be really proud of me. Oh, got it. Now what? Open the can. No problemo. Where's the can opener? It's in the second drawer from the right. It's broken, Mom. Mom, it's broken. So good. You're a chef. For now. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. So long, farewell. I ought to say goodbye. Ridiculous mo and transmission.